Currently, billions of people, businesses, and devices are connected to the internet. Information and communication technologies are transforming each and every aspect of our lives, from the way people interact and communicate to the way companies do business. People expect instantaneous, high-quality connectivity at all times. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we deal with everyday life. Especially, the fixed wireless access market has experienced tremendous growth, as COVID has imposed the use of fixed broadband connectivity all over the world. In both urban and rural settings, there are cases where optical fiber connection speed is required, but deployment is not possible due to economic and operational issues. Covering these areas and connecting the unconnected is a challenge for the operators who are ready to take up this opportunity by deploying fixed wireless access networks. Governments are also adopting a more technology agnostic approach when setting out their national broadband plans, opening up the possibility of a greater role for FWA in the future. All fixed wireless access technologies aim to maximize distance reach and throughput capacity at low cost. To achieve this lowest possible cost per bit economics, various fixed wireless technologies and proprietary vendor solutions incorporate different spectrum and interference mitigation strategies to offer low cost per gigabit access system to service providers. The use of FWA technologies is the only way to accelerate the process of bridging the digital divide in rural areas. The current global trend in telecommunications is the worldwide allocation of harmonized frequency bands, especially in higher frequencies, such as millimeter wave, so that operators will be able to deliver ultra-broadband services to the millions of customers who constantly demand higher connectivity speeds. The opportunity of using wider channels at millimeter wave bands makes these parts of spectrum very attractive to operators that want to deploy ultra-broadband access services. As an example, the FCC in the United States has opened up the CBRS band 6 GHz, 24 to 47 GHz, and 60 GHz for possible FWA use. With 20 times more spectrum possibly available for FWA, new proprietary and 5G FWA technologies, and government funding, the FWA market is poised for robust growth for years to come. The multiple frequency bands that are allocated serve the need to deliver both range and capacity, utilizing the available spectrum assets. Broadband consumer networks are under the biggest change in history during the COVID-19 worldwide pandemic. Traffic that has normally been distributed among different clusters of network, like enterprise, education, and public Wi-Fi networks, has now collapsed onto a single network access, that is fixed consumer broadband networks. Once again the rural, semi-rural, and underserved areas are in the epicenter during these times of uncertainty. Urban areas have already deep and advanced network infrastructures, and a variety of fancy options to choose from when it comes to connect to the internet. The truth is that rural areas are at the bottom of the list of priorities for every major communications carrier. Areas with lower population density will need point-to-multipoint FWA technologies that can deliver long-range connections with the terminal stations and sufficient ultra-broadband capacity. E-commerce, social media, video communications, online gaming, and video streaming are taken for granted today. To achieve that, ultra-fast connections are required everywhere. The good news is that in many countries, government initiatives aim to strengthen the broadband connectivity even at underserved areas. In Europe, the European Union's objectives for 2025 are to achieve gigabit connectivity for the main socio-economic drivers, such as schools, universities, transport hubs, hospitals, public administrations, and enterprises relying on digital technologies. To deploy uninterrupted 5G coverage for all urban areas and major terrestrial transport paths. And to achieve internet speeds for all European households at least 100 Mbps and upgradable to 1 Gbps. In the United States of America, the Rural Digital Opportunity Fund is the FCC's next step in bridging the digital divide. This fund is for the deployment of broadband networks in rural America, and with this, FCC will finance networks up to gigabit speed in unserved rural areas. 5G may represent substantial progress, particularly in the context of mobile services, it is more evolutionary than revolutionary. Target is primarily for densely populated urban areas, and it's not the answer to delivering gigabit speeds to homes in rural and semi-rural areas. G cells are denser than its 4G counterparts, and their respective range is reduced to no longer than 1,500 feet. 
threatens more capital expenditures and operational expenditures for the network operators. Other technologies need to be considered that will be able to overcome the various challenges, like covering areas with low population density, and thus with long-range communication. Also, technologies that can cover the same area with fewer cells, will result in optimized energy bills. The multiple connectivity options in the 3GPP architecture for 5G, have created several possible deployment alternatives and different levels of complexity. Wireless internet service providers and other operators, that have not invested in the past in the 3GPP pool, will be more reluctant to bet their capital in a technology that mandates so many prerequisites before delivering FWA services to the subscriber. The additional frequency bands that were identified by WRC19 for the deployment of 5G networks are not exclusively tied to 3GPP. Depending on the country and the relevant regulatory bodies, there are cases where spectrum is allocated for both IMT, 2020 use and other fixed wireless technologies. This means that there will be cases of coexistence between 5G and other proprietary networks that will operate in adjacent bands. The Wimbers D5 broadband fixed wireless access solution, operating in the 24 to 28 GHz millimeter wave bands, bridges perfectly the broadband gap between urban and rural areas and becomes the perfect solution for operators that do not want to invest in the complex, dense, and power hungry 5G technology. Wimbers D5 EvoBS is capable of delivering ultra broadband speeds to terminal stations that are located at cell edges of more than 3.7 miles. Intercom Telecom's ability to fulfill the need for high-quality broadband FWA and its successful track record in implementing FWA networks across the globe constitute the perfect combination in helping operators and internet service providers to move closer to the 1 gigabps per user era. Webus G5 of OBS base station is fully compliant with the aforementioned requirements for coexistence of different networks operating in the same frequency band. The base station is using GPS signal to synchronize the receive and transmit timing. The frame length and structure of the Webus G5 of OBS does not violate the 5G framing specifications. Both are user configurable to meet the frame length and TDD downlink or uplink that is selected by adjacent operators in a national or international level.